Hey y'all, uh, my name is Mackenzie Wilson and I am a community organizer here in Sacramento. Um, you can particularly find me hanging out with the Carcerate Sacramento, shout out. Um, I give thanks to the People's Budget for having us gather here today. Uh, the truth is, is that we do need to bear witness and shine light on the awful things that this city and this county do on a daily basis. I think I'll speak from my own personal experience having Having, intera having interacted with local law enforcement here on many occasions throughout my career as a community organizer. Um, I think I'll speak specifically on what did happen to us during 2020, which was just a little bit ago, and how there's currently even a lawsuit against the, uh, against the city for the, for the horrific acts of terror that this law enforcement, can you back up? Um, but this, uh, the um, terrific acts of terror that this law enforcement um, enacted upon myself and many members of this community. This city council has been, has <laughs> community organizers like myself and community members like myself have been falling upon deaf ears in this specific building for years when we've come in talking about the need for housing, the need for food, the need for mental health services, the need for substance use services, the need for basic needs to be met. We've been talking about what makes our community safer, right? Statistics prove you can drop, drop communities double digits in crime rates when you just add affordable housing, when you just add food access. But instead, what we see the, the, the city do every year is add more law enforcement. If adding law, more law enforcement solved the problem of crime, then I would, I would, I would want to argue that I, would be, I should be living in the safest city. I should be living in the safest county when 72% of my county budget, when, I, when similar numbers from the city is given to law enforcement. I'm not living in a safe city. I'm living in a hungry city. I'm living in a worried city. And I'm extremely worried that we're giving $220 million to law enforcement this year when, when people who worried came out into the streets in 2020 to talk about everything that was wrong from killing black people to the fact that you all left us in our homes and that we're about to get kicked out of them, that we're hungry. Like I saw what your law enforcement does to people who came, who come out worried about their lives. It makes no sense and I do expect better but again, the city council and all of these actors that have sat in these seats for years have been listening to this, have been doing these things to this, to this city for a long time. So what's gonna be needed are folks like yourself, folks who are listening, folks who are watching. When time comes for you to show up and show your force, show up, you know? I say that even though I had my ass handed to me and, and many members of this community almost died during 2020 but it can't keep us from showing up. It's actually the reason that they get to do this shit at home and make these decisions at home while we stand outside. And when we do show up in mass, they put metal detectors and large guns at the doorways because they anticipate letting you starve. They anticipate killing more black folks. They anticipate us going out, living outside and they aren't going to do anything to stop it. So, Again, I give thanks for the time, I give thanks for the people's budget, and I give thanks for the community power that is building, because the only way that we can take that back, that we can stop it from happening to us, is by showing up. And I don't mean just show me your anger. Don't bring all that too. Bring the thing, that love for your community, that, that want of something different, your ideas of change. Bring, bring that hope for a better future to the people's budget and to the folks doing that work. Thank you. Thanks.